Welcome, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, it's a very exciting day in Mayfest history. I'm Heather Pingree, Executive Director of Mayfest, and um, as many of you have probably guessed, uh, I'm excited to announce that Mayfest 2019 is moving to the Tulsa Arts District. <laughs> This move allows us space to host local artists, many of whom had participated in Blue Dome Arts Festival, as well as offer new arts experiences through our creative partnerships uh, with galleries and museum in the district. Here to tell you a little bit more about the Tulsa Arts District is the president of the Business Association, Bob Fleischman. Well, thank you. Thank you. All right, well, on behalf of over 80 businesses now in Tulsa Arts District, we welcome you all. And what better place to host the International Mayfest than Tulsa Arts District? Over the last several years, the district has gained national and international attention with its concentration of arts and entertainment. Anchored for years by Kane's Ballroom and Tulsa Theater, this area now is home to a collection of visual and performance art venues that is unparalleled with galleries, museums, studios, workshops, and stages, some of which are hidden, but they're there. <laughs> Add to this the restaurants, clubs, hotels, and other services, and you have the perfect place to host International Mayfest. So, our businesses will be ready. Provisions will be made, windows will be cleaned, carpets will be rolled out, and it will be like having a full year of First Friday art crawls over just three days. So we're prepared. So we look forward to the opportunity to again bring attention to Tulsa and certainly to our arts community. We welcome you all and we'll see you in May. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. Um, many of you may know or even remember that um, this is not the first time that Mayfest has taken place in this district. Um, in 1991 and 92, actually, it, um, it came over here uh, to the Arts District. Um, and in 1992, it was actually a 10-day festival. Uh, we're not doing that again, <laughs> ever. <laughs> um, we do have a history, Mayfest has a great history of adapting and changing with the artistic and economic community in Tulsa. Uh, we've had a four-day format for many years now, um, and uh, Bob alluded to the fact that Mayfest will be a three-day festival this year. Um, so we will be taking place May 17th through the 19th, and uh, changing to this three-day format allows us to better accommodate local artists who might have other jobs, as well as minimize traffic uh, to the downtown uh, population and also uh, to not impede business, business flow. Uh, this year will be the 47th annual Tulsa May Fest. It was started in 1973 by the Junior League and as many things in Tulsa was, uh, were started by them. Uh, the following year, in 1974, they actually handed the festival over to Downtown Tulsa Unlimited and the Arts and Humanities Council of Tulsa, uh, which is now AHA Tulsa. So here to talk a little bit more about AHA Tulsa is Holly Becker, Executive Director. Thank you. Good morning, I'm Holly Becker, Executive Director of AHA Tulsa. Um, we are Tulsa's Arts Council, working in neighborhoods, schools, and here at the Hardesty Center to cultivate a more creative Tulsa. We thank you for being here in the Hardesty Center today, and we invite you all to come back um, during our public hours so you can see some of the exciting changes we've made here over the past year. The model that we're operating here now is unlike any art center in the world, and we're really proud of the work that we're doing. Um, so we would love to show you that and have you come back and visit us. Um, now, um, on behalf of the AHA Tulsa board and staff, I get to say that we are thrilled that Tulsa International Mayfest is moving to the Tulsa Arts District in 2019. Um, as Heather mentioned, AHA and Mayfest go way back, uh, almost to the beginning of our organizations. We've partnered on many things. We've worked together on the festival. Uh, we've worked together on other projects like the Mayfest Young Artist Awards 
that's part of the Har Weldon Awards that we do every year. Um, so we're excited to continue that partnership. And Tulsa is a creative city and has been um, since our founding. Our founders and those who followed in their footsteps ensured that we have a professional ballet, symphony, and opera. We have two world-class museums. Um, we were one of the first cities to adopt a 1% for public art ordinance, meaning that our city invests in public art as part of their capital improvement projects. And AHA was one of the first local arts councils in the nation. So it only uh, follows that this creative city should have a world-class arts festival like the Tulsa International May Fest, and that we should have a thriving arts district like the Tulsa Arts District. So we are thrilled to see these things come together. We're excited to sort of play host to the festival in our own backyard. And AHA would like to thank the staff and board of Tulsa International May Fest for thinking bold and creatively um, and thinking about the future of the festival. And we're excited uh, to see what we can all do together here in the Tulsa Arts District. Thank you. Thank you, Holly. Mayfest has traditionally welcomed about 100 different artists traveling uh, around the country, uh, visual artists, for our juried art show. Um, this new move, uh, as I mentioned, is gonna allow for uh, space for local artists. Uh, we are accepting applications. Um, they will be live as soon as this press conference is over. That's at TulsaMayfest.org. Uh, we'll have space for about 80 local artists. Um, and artists have until February 28th to apply. Um, Mayfest will be providing tents for all of the local artists, um, and there will be no application fee for local artists. Uh, if they're selected, they will have a 10 by 10 foot uh, space inside of a tent, um, and that will cost $250, which is a significant discount from our traditional uh, juried art show. Our main stage will be located on Guthrie Green on Friday and Saturday, and we're really excited to, to have that happen. Uh, thank you, Eric. I see you same back in the corner. Thanks for coming. Um, and then Hop Jam will have that space on Sunday. We're really excited to be working with Hanson as well as the Tulsa Drillers, who have games each day of the festival this year. So it is going to be incredibly uh, exciting happening that weekend. Um, we're also excited to partner with uh, entities like AHA Tulsa, Philbrook, Gilcrease, uh, 108 Contemporary, just to name a few. Um, we will have another performing artist uh, venue on our festival site. That location, along with programming details and festival maps, will all be available as they are solidified. Um, those will all be found on TulsaMayFest.org. Um, we are also accepting uh, more local food trucks as part of this change. So we'll have a really local dedicated area. And um, for our food applicants and also for the public, we've got additional exciting piece of news and that is no more coupons for food and beverage purchases. <laughs> no refunds, no, no refunds, Michael. <laughs> so. We'll take um, cash and card at each location, um, and so it'll ease the, the uh, buying points, make it a little bit faster, easier on everybody. Um, it's one of our biggest requests we've ever had, and we are all so happy uh, to get rid of them. Um, finally, um, I just want to let you know that as a 501c3 nonprofit, uh, we rely on the financial support of companies, foundations, and individuals. Uh, I would like to thank MidFirst Bank, who is our presenting sponsor for the 16th year, um, which is incredible. Yeah. Thank you. Mm. Um, I can always keep track of how long MidFirst Bank has been our presenting sponsor because my first Mayfest was MidFirst Bank's first Mayfest as presenting sponsor. So 16 years together, um, we're thrilled to have them partner with us um, in this exciting new move and look forward to, uh, to what the future brings. 
And um, we do have some sponsorship information available still if anybody would like any. Um, it's at the back of the room. Crystal's got it. Kristen's got it. Raise your hand. Um, and we also will have individual Friends of Mayfest packages available online um, starting at $150. And so that'll include some VIP access, some preview parties, um, and uh, knowing that you're supporting this great, fun arts festival. So thank you all for coming. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in May.